All right, so welcome back. Uh, today, we're gonna be making a the color bomb appear. We're not gonna make it actually do anything yet, but we're gonna make it appear when there's a match of five. So here, I've got two and two, and then if I swap this piece in, there we go, we got our color bomb. So stay tuned and let's dive right in. All right, so where we left off last time, we have our board here and we're able to swap and make matches. And not only does it make color um, column and adjacent bombs, but the score will also increase for every streak that we have. So what we want to do next is we want to make it so that uh, we have the color bombs, the last bomb that we need to, to finish. And I think this is going to take two videos, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Let's dive right in. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to my scenes and I want to find my main piece scene, um, which is right here, the one that all the other scenes are inheriting from. So right now we have the row texture, the column texture, and the adjacent texture. I'm going to add another texture to that. So I'm going to open up this script here and I'm going to create another variable. So export of type texture. I'm going to call this var color bomb. This is going to be the same for all of them, so I'm going to set this in the piece scene so that every other scene can inherit from it. I'm also going to create a variable, so I'm going to call this var is color bomb. And by default, that's going to be false. And all right, so I already have a string for the color, so I'm going to be modifying that. So I'm going to make a quick little function here near where all my other bomb functions are. And I'm going to call this function make color bomb. And in here I'm going to set is color bomb uh, to be true. And then I'm also going to do uh, dollar sign sprite dot texture is equal to what did I call that? I just made it like a second ago. I'm going to call it color bomb texture to be more clear. Um, is equal to color bomb texture. And then um, I'm also going to change the color back to what it was supposed to be. So sprite.modulate color one, 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 one. Uh, okay. Cool. The last thing I'm going to do here too, though, I don't want this piece thinking that it acts as whatever it was before. So what I'm essentially going to be doing here is we're going to take one of the pieces that already existed, blue, orange, yellow, whatever, we're going to turn it into a color bomb, but we want it to not think that it's that previous color it was before. So I'm going to take that uh, color string that we have, so color, and I'm going to reset it to uh, a new string which I'm just going to call color. So we're resetting it to be a, a bomb so it's not going to match with anything anymore because that string is how we're making things match. Oops. So I want to save this. I'm going to go out of distraction free mode here. I want to look at the piece variables. The color bomb, I'm going to find that in my art. Pieces. And there it is, right there. Uh, I'm going to put that in for color bomb. And by doing it this way, if I save the scene, I can now go through and look at any of my other scenes. So let's say I want to look at my pink scene. Color bomb is already there. Same thing with orange, light green. Uh, all, anything that inherits from the piece is going to have that color bomb already assigned. So now what I want to do, uh, I'm going to close some of my open scenes here. Uh, I want to go to my grid and I want to first make it generate and then we'll talk about the logic of it next video. So I want to go to my grid game object, my grid script, and I want to take a look at the uh, method that I'm using to create my bombs. So that is find bombs. And right now we're just um, checking to see if it's a color bomb and then printing color bomb. What we want to do instead is we want to call that make bomb method. So make 
bomb three current color. And so down for the make bomb method. So bomb type and current color. Do, 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 do. So this is going to pass through the change bomb bomb type. And we're going to add another. So we're going to say L if bomb type is equal to double equals three. Then we're going to do piece dot make color bomb. And I think I didn't make that, that function yet. So piece dot make color bomb, piece dot make column bomb. So let's look at our piece script here. Nope, I did not mean to make a new scene. Let's go to save scene. Go out of distraction free mode. Let's take a look at our piece scene here. Nope, I do have make color bomb, make color bomb, just like that. So let's go back to our grid script, make color bomb. All right, cool. So it should be all we have to do to make the bomb appear. Let's try this out. All right, so I'll need to get a match of five here. So I'll play for just a little bit. I'll speed this up. Okay, so now with these yellow pieces here, I should be able to get a match of five. And there we go, there's our color bomb. Now it's not gonna do anything just yet. Um, you can swap it just like a regular piece, but it's never gonna find a match. So we'll be adding the logic for this next time. But for now, there we go, there's our little rainbow bomb. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter or Discord. And yeah, there's a special quick video coming up in just a minute. So make sure to pay attention to that. Otherwise, everybody out there, have yourselves a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like, subscribing to the channel, or telling a friend who might be interested. Also, please consider following me on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can earn access to tangible rewards like early access to videos, backer-only videos and series, polls for future topics, streams, and even individual tutoring sessions. You can find a link to that in the description. And as always, have yourselves a wonderful day.